Hey guys, this is Fred Chuck Dave. I return from more Bloodborne. It's been a few months since the past uh, threaded game stream, but here we are again. And I haven't even started uploading the New Game Plus 16 videos on YouTube yet, but I will eventually. And I'll probably have to edit them from the previous stream of that. But, let's get started. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we have to do Vicar Amelia. Yep, this elevator's down, so this should be the exact point where I left off last time. It has been some time, so I don't remember exactly. Yep, got a gun dude, wheelchair man. Here's some opponent. And our damage output is pretty nice. I don't know why I'm opening this chest, but so be it. Gotta have those madman's knowledges. Of which we have uh, literally hundreds, hundreds upon hundreds. And I have 16 blood rocks at this point, so could bring them to blood rocks doesn't even matter, I think. <laughs> Either. I'm very inclined to make the roll to the the hunter's workshop here, but luckily I remembered not to do that. That was where my mind was focused at that point in time, though. Alright. Ah, oh, there's our hitting the bad man's knowledge limit. <laughs> we were one off. And I'm not sure if I could see that or not, but whatever. Okay, you don't want to hit the shit on the way down because it wakes up the the wolf mancer. Um, I almost remember his name, but not quite. And I am used to Dark Souls dodges, so we'll see if that screws me up here or not. Sorry for the madman's knowledge gaff. I'll, I'll go fix the once we're done with the Caramelia. It's not that big of a deal, just sometimes when I pick up an item, it's gonna say, nope, you can't do that. There's our bagman. We don't really want to screw with the bagman. Especially not since we have uh, fairly light weapons. It's hard to stagger him in the first place. I do not have HP runes on, so what we do have 99 vitality or vigor. It's only 1900 health as opposed to 2400, which we could have. Amelia might kick my ass, I'm not sure. Uh, it was a very difficult fight, one of the best designed fights in the, here, the history of Souls games, but I haven't fought her in a few months, so we'll see if I still have this stuff. Can I beat Amelia with ease? We shall find out. And of course you can enchant this weapon, so we'll be using bolt paper slash fire paper. One possible. There we go. I'm not sure what the repost damage is. 3k, that's not too bad. 3161. And we pretty much always just sprint through here. Usually, comb guy chases us down. 
and Kunga is one of the most dangerous enemies in the game, essentially. Because there's only one of them, so... We don't have to worry that much. And of course, since we're down here, we talk to Ariana so we can get her fetus later. Okay, I did talk to Red Man. Possible I triggered an emote on accident there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't automatically go into clapping. Uh, usually I listen to Ariana's spiel, I just forgot. So, sorry if you wanted to hear her talk for a second. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Of course, in Dark Souls 3, I'm still listening to a fair amount of NPC conversations in this game. Since I've heard them all 40 times plus. I don't really need to hear them again. Pretty bad luck. Uh, it's very uncommon for them to group up in a coordinated fashion like that. But we did get Ariana, so we don't have to fight Come Guy this time. And we could pretty much just go straight for the elevator if we want. I I almost never die there, but it's not totally impossible as already demonstrated. Here's our beloved Fetus producer herself. And I guess we're just gonna let Gatling get guy shit it back here. No river is not so good. I'm starting to or I'm thinking about why Why do I like Bloodborne so much more than Dark Souls 3? The obvious thing is different control scheme and I think the control scheme in this game just benefits the boss fights, especially makes the boss fights immensely better than they have been in the past. And while Dark Souls 2 doesn't suffer that much because there's so many fucking bosses, so even if a boss is half as good, if you fight twice as many of them, then it's okay. <laughs> but it doesn't work that well for... Dark Souls 3 because there's not very many bosses and I struggle to think of one that really compares to any Bloodborne boss or at least any pretty good Bloodborne boss. Storm King is difficult but not, not really that interesting to fight. But, uh, the other thing is the world design. I'm not sure. Like, I really like Arizona, world design-wise. But, Bloodborne, it's like the whole world has its own feeling to it. And, like the, whatever it's called, the asylum in the DLC. The hospital. Uh, shit. On the tip of my tongue. Research Lull. Research Hall? That's the name of the bonfire. I 
that place is just excellent. Okay, comp guy is still active, so... Oh, I suppose we do want our souls, uh, it's like 400k. Well, it's not a, an absolute disaster if we don't get 400k. It's still relatively nice to have. Of course we can't, like, chuck bombs below us or something like that, that would be... Highly amusing if we could. But, oh well. Uh, souls don't really matter that much to me in this game, because we have... Or it's like 1.3 million souls to level up, it might be 1.4 now. So, 400k is not even half a level. Or one third of a level, for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking that there was a chance he wasn't dead. I really, really like the regain health when you attack system. It doesn't really make the game easier, but it makes it more interesting. Uh, I think the Estus system is just not that great. It was okay when it was introduced because it was improving upon the grasses system. And Demon Souls, in the grass system you just have infinite health basically because you have 99 full moon grass or whatever and just keep using it over and over. So Estus is better than that, but I tend to think the healing system in this game is superior in general. The cane is possible, like I can head through the ground here, as you see. Not every weapon could do this, but um, this is one of the ones that can. Um, pretty sure that's the souls right there. So no need to go down further, we already got Ariana. And up we go to fight immediately, I assume. Or momentarily, even. Uh, so we could fight Sparkles and Shadow right now, since I'm not going to be using the share button at all. These videos will probably be 20 minutes or so, instead of 15 minutes, so... Doing Sparkles and Shadow right now makes more sense, functionally, if we were going to put it in that video. Oh, that's bad. Alright, we're dead if we don't. Press triangle. Now we're dead for sure, I think. No, we're not. It's very close. Cross guys are some of the shittiest enemies in the game. There's only two of them. So, it's not that big of a deal, but they're definitely horrible enemies. <laughs> horrible. Dreadful enemies, but... Oh well. Probably should have thought about this beforehand. Uh, there's a question of whether I can beat Amelia with 17 blood vials or not, which is going to lead to me not fighting Sparkles and Jetty right now. And these two fuck sticks should back off, considering where I am, but they're being obstinate douchebags. But if I come over here, that should make the leash a little bit better. Apparently not. I've never seen them come down the stairs, ever. In, you know, 20 odd playthroughs. <laughs> They've never gotten, they always leash uh, a few steps behind where this guy is. Nope. Uh, the thing with Bloodborne is your charge attacks, you only get one for some weapons. Some weapons have two. So that's why that happened. But whatever, no more cross guy. Of course, now we only have 16 blood wells. Oh, soon to have less. Alright, we're just gonna get the fuck out of here. I'll be back in a second. 
Oh, I forgot to hunt his mare. Or I forgot to blood vial. I was gonna hunt his mare. <sighs> Cross the guy death totally meaningless. I don't really give a shit. But ultimately, we were gonna go back to the bonfire anyway, so I can get my blood vials back, and we can fight Amelia with the full twenty-five or twenty-three or twenty-four. So I would expect Amelia to take like three or four attempts since I'm not in the swing of things, but who knows, maybe I'll play particularly well. We'll find out. Scythe guy, sometimes he attacks, sometimes he doesn't. That guy hits you every once in a blue now. Every often, but not impossible. This, this cross luck. This is some trash. I don't know. Fuck if I know. Uh, vast majority of the time they don't hit you. If you just run past him. Maybe it's because I rolled. And I guess cro the crow outfit has a shitload of frenzy resistance because the vast majority of the time I'll always get frenzied if I have high insight. Right now I have 75. So I guess we're stuck here killing these douchebags again. There we go. I believe they do have more than the requisite amount of health. Apparently not. But this time, unless these guys drop blood vials... Sometimes they do. Now we have 25, ready to go. 